Hi there guys, welcome back to the Farina channel and in today's video I'm going to be showing you guys how to go ahead and set your overclock settings on HiveOS for Casper. Right, okay, so if we go ahead and we take ourselves over to my MEXC Global Exchange account, as you can see here, this is a place that you guys can go ahead and trade and sell and convert your Casper coin. So as you can see, for the market for the past month, it's been absolutely great for Casper coin. And at this specific moment in time, what I'm going to be doing is every single time that I do actually mine this coin, I will be going ahead, guys, and I will be selling this coin off. The main reason that is, is there's a lot of high uh, sell pressure from the crypto miners themselves at the moment in the time. So what that means is every single time that, you know, as crypto miners are mining up our coin, we are, you know, either sending these straight to the exchanges themselves and then just converting it straight into Bitcoin. Or in theoretical terms, we're going ahead and we're selling this straight for USDT and we're just holding our coins in that way and earning up some interest you know from using things such as like nexo and things like that but using the me exchange uh, is a really good idea just purely because there's a lot a lot of features that this exchange offers and they've also got really really great you know fees for selling your coin so also take that into account when you guys are selling your casper you want to make sure that you're putting on an exchange where you can sell it and make the most back for your own self now what i will be doing guys is i will be leaving a link uh, down in the description for you guys to go ahead so you can refer yourself up and sign yourself up to the me exchange and go ahead and start trading on there and actually start earning the most from when you're selling your coin. So as long as you've been keeping up with the market, I'm sure a lot of you are aware of currently at the moment that Casper and Nexa and Radiant Coin are pretty much the most profitable coins to be mining at this specific moment in time. So what I've decided to do is just go ahead and show you guys how to set up your settings and also exactly where you can go ahead and look for some safe overclock settings for your GPUs when you're going ahead and setting yourself on Casper. So if we take ourselves over to Hashrate. Dot no. Now for the GPU that I'm going to be using for the sake of this video, I'm going to be using a 2070 just to go ahead and show you guys exactly what you need to do. Now, if you're using Windows, you can just feel free to go ahead and just copy this uh, down here for yourself and then go ahead and copy the config that's just at the top here and then go ahead and paste that straight into your bat file and you should be good to go. Maybe you may have to tweak it ever so slightly depending on your own um, GPU and depending on uh, the memory that's inside of it. But assuming that you've got a Samsung memory and it's running pretty much as average, you should be able to go ahead and just use these overclock settings that are here already. So if we take ourselves over to my Hive OS, as you can see here, I've already just gone ahead and set up the flight sheet. And at the moment, we're currently running at 363.3 mega hash. Now, just like I say, guys, this has only been set up for give or take five minutes. So with a little bit more time, this will go ahead and it will start to show a higher hash rate once it's started to stabilize itself out. Let me just go ahead and just refresh onto the pulse. So it's nothing's kicked through on there just yet, but let's go ahead and take ourselves back over to hash rate. No. So what we're going to really need to be doing here, guys, is if we go ahead and we take ourselves to our overclocking page, as you can see here, we've got a couple different overclock settings that I've popped in there. So all you're really going to need to do is configure a new algorithm. OK, then what we're going to need to do is go ahead and type in for the algorithm your own choice. Like I said, you could be doing this for a different algo than just Casper. But today's video, I wanted to just go ahead and simply show you guys how you can get yourself set up and overclock settings correct for Casper so that you can actually start going ahead and mining and earning the most profit that you can really from your coins. So now if we take a look over on to the hash rate .no, as you can see here for the Core clock, it's saying that we should have 1470, so I've gone ahead and put that into the core clock. Then for the memory, it's saying that we should put in there 810 megahertz. And then also for the power limit, it's saying that we should put in there 150. Now, this is pretty much all that you guys are going to need to do to go ahead and set yourself up for your overclocking settings but then as well at the same time depending on who you are depending on what gpu you have you are more than welcome to go ahead and turn off the leds and things like that just to save yourself the ever few, you know few slight uh what's that that could provide on there so go ahead and press save on that that'll update and then as you can see as i mentioned before the casper hash rate from for this gpu is currently still increasing and stabilizing itself out so if you've gone ahead and you've set yourself up with your new algorithm 
on there for your overclock settings. All you're going to need to do is just go ahead and press on the play button on there. Now, I'm not going to press the play on there for myself. As you say, as you can see there, it says deactivate. But if I was to hover over another one, it would say activate. So because that's highlighted in blue, this is currently already activated. Now, one thing I would also recommend as well is to tick the auto select algo. So what that means is, guys, if you go ahead and you change your algorithm, let's say um, you're switching to different altcoins or things like that, and you've already got your overclock settings preset in here, then they will already go ahead and switch over and move themselves into the correct settings for yourself so you do not have to go ahead and fiddle around with that so once you've created your flight sheets and you've created your overclock sheets they should automatically all sync up together and start mining you to your coin right okay so if we go ahead and we take ourselves over to my mexc global exchange account as you can see here this is a place that you guys can go ahead and trade and sell and convert your casper coin so as you can see for the market for the past month it's been absolutely great for casper coin and at this specific moment in time, what I'm going to be doing is every single that time that I do actually mine this coin, I will be going ahead, guys, and I will be selling this coin off. The main reason that is, is there's a lot of high uh, sell pressure from the crypto miners themselves at the moment in the time. So what that means is every single time that, you know, as crypto miners are mining up our coin, we are, you know, either sending these straight to the exchanges themselves and then just converting it straight into Bitcoin. Or in theoretical terms, we're going ahead and we're selling this straight for USDT and we're just holding our coins in that way and earning up some interest you know from using things such as like nexo and things like that but using the me exchange uh, is a really good idea just purely because there's a lot a lot of features that this exchange offers and they've also got really really great you know fees for selling your coin so also take that into account when you guys are selling your casper you want to make sure that you're putting on an exchange where you can sell it and make the most back for your own self now what i will be doing guys is i will be leaving a link uh, down in the description for you guys to go ahead so you can refer yourself up and sign yourself up to the me exchange and go ahead and start trading on there and actually start earning the most from when you're selling your coin okay so moving on from the exchange what we're going to be doing is taking a little look over at the profitabilities that's currently showing on these GPUs at the moment. So remember, guys, if you want to change your overclocks and your overclock settings, hashrate.no would be the best place for you to go ahead and check this out. If you search for the GPU that you have and then go ahead and click on it, you'll be able to be shown uh, some simple, um, you know, settings. So let's say if you're, you know, for the we're using Dynet, uh, for Casper right now, so let's click on this, and you can see there it's showing you two different setting opportunities for whether it's medium or for your higher clocks just make sure you set them up specifically for yourself and then also as well be very very careful uh, with jumping for the high overclocks you don't want to do any damage to your hardware or even at any point uh, overuse any power as you can see there the profit to that profit is completely different by 20 cents so do take that into account and then also look at the you know that that's reporting on the medium 104 watts and then for the estimated high overclock that would be 130 watts so that's a big huge difference in power use there so make sure to take that into account right guys please make sure to let me know down in the comment section below what type of cryptocurrencies you'd like to see me going forward and showing you guys how to mine then also as well at the exact same time please go ahead and let me know what you guys uh, would like to see me show you how to set up on the overclocks and I'll see you guys in the next video peace